That was really tasty. It's really quite lovely. Amazing. It's really good. I think it's one of the best we've tried. Hi, I'm Marty Savella. I'm Ed Savella and we're Banks and Salander Distillery. To be honest, I had a bit of a midlife crisis. thought it would be a cool idea to uh, build a distillery in our backyard. This was actually meant to be a motorbike workshop. Through that process, making parts for the motorbike that uh, could use those skills into making a still. Started off by making a hand beaten copper still from, from sheet metal. After that, thought that maybe there could be more to this than um, just a hobby. And uh, started looking at um, some larger and more commercial processes and, and research into well, what does it take to, to start a distillery and uh, found that it wasn't that complicated and uh, just took a long time, lots of paperwork. The, the idea came in 2015 and started commercially producing in, in 2019. This wasn't going to be a gin distillery. Um, the, the original idea was actually to make eau de vies and, and fruit based spirits. Realise that, that there's no real market for that here in Australia. So we looked around well, what, what was up and coming and, and what would people like and, and drink. We saw that uh, gins were becoming quite popular and they weren't too challenging to make either. Yeah, Ed doesn't like gin or didn't well, like gin. The first time he told me that he wanted to make gin, I was like, but I hate gin. <laughs> yeah, we quickly found out that um, it wasn't it wasn't gin that Ed didn't like, it was bad gin that Ed <laughs> didn't like. Uh, once, once we realised that, had the go ahead actually to start making a gin. So he got me some good gins, um, mostly European styles. I realised that all the flavours that you could possibly get into the gin was actually really amazing. When we started playing around with recipes, he'd come to me, usually 10 o'clock in the morning, he'd taste, taste, taste. We wanted a gin that um, that we liked, like so we're not making something to make money, we're making it because we want something, good quality spirits that we would like to, to enjoy. Something that, that's a joy to drink and enjoy with friends. We use a traditional approach to, to making the, the gin. We put all our botanicals into the, into the pot and let them steep overnight, then distill the next day. It's an Australian contemporary style gin, five different Australian botanicals. We use things like wattle seed, macadamia nut, Tasmanian pepperberry, and strawberry gum. We feel that these really showcase the, the area that we live in, the botanical history of, of our location. We wanted to make something a little bit different. For us, it's, it's about the, the flavor. We wanted a, a really bold gin that uh, you could mix um, into cocktails, but also have by themselves on, on ice or with a bit of tonic. Um, but you could actually still taste the gin and that it would, wouldn't be lost if, if you did make a cocktail. When we were starting to, to build this place, um, we had a lemon tree in the backyard and unfortunately it needed to go. It was full of fruit and it seemed a real shame to throw out the lemons. Rather than making lemonade, being a distillery, worked out how to, to make a, a limoncello. Modified it a bit uh, to give an Australian twist as well, keeping it nice, bright and fresh. Something that's, that's really easy to drink and um, great to sit back on a hot day and, and have a, a nice limoncello. We also have a, a coffee liqueur. For us, it's all about the flavour. Not many coffee liqueurs actually use espresso coffee because it's quite laborious. But, um, 15 litres of yeah, espresso, espresso takes take, a while. It takes a while, despite the fact that um, it will always be small batch because it's all it's about the worth quality. It. Yeah, it's all about the quality of the, of the coffee flavour. We'd like to bring on new products in, into the future, keep that creativity going. Considering we didn't see ourselves here uh, three <laughs> it's years still ago. It's thrill to see our bottles in a sh bottle shop, you know. Maybe some limited releases, uh, see if we can get our core range um, spread across um, to a larger area. I mean, at the moment, we're mostly New South Wales based, but we'd like to get across uh, to the different states, but maybe even overseas. Learning more on how our product would be used in a bar so that we can make sure that anything new meets those standards. Uh, continue to expand, continue to grow, uh, creating more interesting sort of drinks for, for people to enjoy, but um, yeah, keeping that quality there. Thank you.